round 41. And we're going to join with a standing front post treble around the last stitch of any side. Okay, so obviously the last stitch is the popcorn. So make sure that you're right around there. Just move this light over a little bit to see if that's a bit better. There we go. There's the front post treble. Okay. Okay, then in our chain two corner space, we're going to two double crochet chain two and two double crochet okay so two two and two let's move my marker up okay now we're going to front post treble around the next stitch, double crochet in the chain one space twice, and then front post treble around the next stitch, which is that last popcorn. Okay, so front post treble, double. Front post treble, and double, and front post treble around that last popcorn. Okay. And then we're going to start our repeat, which we're going to do five times, and that will take us all the way across to the end of this side, okay? So our repeat is skip the next two stitches. So that's your front post single and then the first single crochet. So then this second single crochet is where you're going to be working into. You're going to single crochet in 21 stitches, okay? And they are quite packed together, so make sure that you don't skip any of them, okay? So 21 single crochet. 20 and 21, okay? So the 21st is the first single crochet made into that chain one space. So you've got two single crochet left there. Okay, you're gonna skip those two stitches and then you're gonna front post treble around the next stitch and double crochet in the chain one space. You can do that twice. And the double. And then front post treble around the next stitch. Okay, so that is our repeat. Okay, skip two stitches, single crochet in 21, skip two, and then you've got front post treble around your popcorn, double crochet in your chain one space twice, and then front post treble around that third popcorn. And as I say, once you've done that five times, that is going to bring you up to your next corner, okay? And remember, your corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. 
Okay, so go ahead and do that on all four sides. Come all the way round, join to your standing front post treble, fasten off and secure your ends. Round 42. And we're going to join with a standing double crochet in the last stitch of any side. Okay, so obviously that is the one before the chain two corner space. And then in our corner spaces, we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Sorry, someone's grumbling. One and two. Okay, so each corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, that's your first two double crochet there. And then we are going to front post treble around the next stitch, which is the front post treble. And double crochet in the next stitch, which is the double crochet. Okay, and you'll find over the next few rounds, you're going to follow this by making front post stitches around front post stitches and normal stitches in normal stitches. Okay, so that's to help you um, just to keep your placements right because this basically is going to form a, a textured pattern as it moves up. Okay, so it's front post treble around the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch twice, front post treble around the next stitch and double crochet in the same stitch. So pull that forward so that you can clearly see the top loops there and make sure that your double crochet is after your front post treble. Okay exactly like that. Okay then we are going to start our repeat. We're going to skip the next two stitches which are the first two um, single crochet and we're then going to single crochet in 17. Okay so 17 single crochet. 15 16, 17. Okay, so it leaves us two single crochets there, which we are going to skip. And we're then going to double crochet in the next stitch, which is our front post treble. And we are going to front post treble around the same stitch. Okay, so we've got a double crochet in there first then a front post treble, so it's two stitches, they're not a together stitch like we did before down here. Okay. We're then going to double crochet in the next stitch and front post treble around the next stitch twice. Okay, and you're then going to double crochet in the same stitch as your um, last front post treble. Okay, so again, just pull it forward so that you can see those top loops clearly and double crochet in there. Okay, so that is our repeat. So it's skip two stitches, single crochet in 17, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch and front post treble around the same stitch. Then it's double, front post treble, double, front post treble and a double crochet in the same stitch. But make sure your double crochet comes after 
because again as we work up here these double crochets have got to sit straight as they come up so our increases are either side of those. Okay so go ahead and do that four times Okay, which is going to bring you to here. You're then going to repeat the skip two, single crochet in 17, skip two, and I will join up with you again when, once I've finished this extra 17. Okay, okay, so once you've made that last 17 single crochet, around the last shell we are going to skip the next two stitches double crochet in the next stitch and front post treble around the same stitch okay so it's very much like we've already done and then double crochet in the next front post treble around the next and do that twice and then we've got two stitches left and we're going to double crochet in those so it matches exactly with the other end of the side okay So, double check and make sure that your increases are on the outside of your front post trebles. Okay, use the pattern again to check. Um, you've got 17 single crochets in your shells in each space. In between you've got three front post trebles you've also got three at either end and you've then got one two three four double crochets in between okay actually let's look at this end because we've got the corner made there okay at the ends you've got three front post trebles and one two three four five six seven double crochet okay so all the way round and join to your standing double crochet fasten off and secure your ends round 43 and we're going to join with a standing double crochet in the last stitch of any side Oops, let's start that one again. That's better. Okay. And then again, our corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Oops, yarn going everywhere, get myself sorted, that's it, okay, righty ho, so, double crochet in the next four stitches, okay, so remember as I said before, the front post trebles that you make are going to line up with the front post trebles that you've already made. Okay, so double crochet in four, front post treble around the next, which is your front post treble, 
double crochet in the next stitch which is your double crochet. And we're going to do that three times. Okay, so that's two, and there's number three. Oops, double crochet, there we go, okay. So front post treble, double crochet, one, two, three times, okay. Now we start our repeat, which we are going to repeat five times. Okay, so skip the next two stitches. And you're then going to single crochet in 13. Okay. Now, as you um, do this repeat five times, when you come to the end, you will need to make an extra three double crochet. Okay. So again, if you're working alongside both the uh, photo tutorial and the written pattern then you will see what's what. Uh, right, how many have we got there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, there's number 13, and we've got two single crochet left. Okay, double crochet in the next stitch. Obviously we've skipped two, sorry. Skip those two, double crochet in the next, front post treble around the next and we are going to do that three times there's number three Okay, and then double crochet in the next stitch. <clears throat> okay, so that's your repeat. Skip two, 13 single, skip two. Double crochet in the next stitch, front post treble around the next, which is your front post treble. One, two, three times and then double crochet in the next stitch which is your double crochet increase that we made in the last round okay when you come to the end you'll have done that um, double crochet front post treble one two no hold on yeah, double crochet from front post treble one, two, three times. Then the repeat includes that double crochet in the next stitch. So that's where your fifth repeat will finish. So you then have three stitches left to double crochet in. Okay? So go ahead all the way round and join to your standing double crochet with a slip stitch because we're carrying on in the same colour. Moving on to round 44 we're going to we've joined here with a slip stitch so we're going to slip stitch in the next two stitches so just go underneath the two top loops and pull right through and then into the chain two corner space. Okay, so with the slip stitches in the front here, when it comes to working them at the end, you can go underneath the slip stitches so that you're still under the top two loops. If you can see, uh, yeah, you can see the third loop there at the bottom so you can still work under those so your slip stitches become hidden 
by um, the base of your stitches but it means that what you don't have is a chain three that sort of sits in the middle of your work by slip stitching into the corner. So particularly if you're working with just one colour, wherever possible, slip stitch into the corner and start at the corner each time um, and then it just makes everything so much easier. Okay, so we're going to chain three and that counts as our first double crochet and we're then going to double crochet so we've got two double crochet yeah chain two and then two double crochet so each of your corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet okay and then coming round Okay, so double crochet in the next six stitches, making sure that you don't skip that first hidden stitch. Oops. Three. Oh, come on. Four. Five and six. Okay. Then we're going to do the same as before. We're going to front post treble around the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do that three times. Okay, so we've done that three times and now we're going to start our repeat which we're going to do five times in total okay so skip the next stitch single crochet in five three four and five two single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in five okay then we're going to skip the next stitch which is the last, so we've skipped the first and last single crochet then it's five single, two in the same stitch and another five. Skip the next stitch double crochet in the double crochet front post treble around the front post treble we're going to do that three times and then double crochet in the next stitch okay so let me just do that oops and there's our last double crochet. Okay, so that is our repeat. Skip two, single crochet in five, two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in five. Did I say skip two? It's only skip one at the beginning and skip one at the end. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, skip the next stitch. Then double crochet front post treble one, two, three times and double crochet. Okay, so again, when you come along to the end, you'll finish here. So you can see that you've got five stitches left there that you're going to double crochet in each of those. And then your corner 
is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, so you can see where these front post stitches are following up and for forming a raised design in the middle there. Okay, all the way round, join to the top of your chain three with a slip stitch. Okay, round 45. Okay, and again we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and into the chain two, whoops, into the chain two corner space. Okay. In the chain two corner space, you're going to chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, and then double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay. So each of your corners are the same, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Let's move my marker up. Okay. This time we're going to double crochet in the first eight stitches, making sure you don't skip the first one. Okay, you can really see clearly here how because I leave that marker in whilst I make my corner, that first stitch doesn't get covered up at all, so I can see it really clearly and easily. So it's just another little handy Helen hint for you. Okay, so double crochet in the next eight. So let me just whip through those quickly. And then again, we're going to follow the same as we've been doing before, where we're working a front post treble around the front post trebles and double crochets. Whoops. Just yarn over once, Helen. That's it. Let me just double check. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, correct. Okay, so front post treble round the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch three times. Okay, so the real point of difference with these few rounds is how we're working over the shell. Because gradually the shell is going to disappear and we're going to end up with straight sides again. Uh, Okay, so double crochet in that last double crochet. Okay, so that's our one, two, three times there. Okay, and we're then going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in eight. Two and eight. Oops. Okay, so two half double, eight single, two half double. Okay, and again, we're going to work the same double crochet in the double crochet, front post treble around the front post treble. We're going to do that three times, and then you are going to double crochet in that last double crochet. Okay, 
you're going to repeat this five times and then when you get to the end you'll have seven stitches left that you need to make a double crochet into each of them. So let me just do this one. Let's go over that repeat again for you. Okay, so each of your corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You've then got at the beginning of the side eight double crochet. Front post treble double crochet three times. Two half double, eight single, two half double. Double crochet, front post treble, one, two, three times, and then another double crochet. So when you come to the end of the side, that is where your repeat is going to finish with a double crochet in there. So you've then got seven stitches left. You're going to double crochet in each of those before you start again with your corner. Okay, so work all the way round, all four sides. Join to the top of your chain three with a slip stitch. Again, use the pattern to double check your stitch counts and make sure everything is perfect. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me, round 46. This is the last round of part three. Um, again, if you are working with just one colour, then, as I said before, slip stitch in the next stitch and into the corner and start from the corner. Okay, it's always easier. But for the rest of us, because we are going to fasten off and secure the ends at the end of this round, we can start with a chain three, which obviously counts as a double crochet, and then double crochet in the next stitch okay if you need to to help you pop a marker in this stitch or in the top of the chain three or both so that you know that's the last stitch that you're going to work into and the top of the chain three is where you're going to join to Okay, so again, our corners are two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Oops, my yarn tangled. Okay, now this time we are going to skip the first hidden stitch. Okay, so you can just pull those stitches round in the corner a little bit so that the top of that first stitch becomes hidden. Okay, so skip the first one and then double crochet in the next nine stitches and then we're going to do our front post treble double crochet three times that will bring us up to here okay so I'm going to do that and catch up with you there okay so first of all with skipping the hidden stitch there's two reasons for that one as you're working, your stitches will gradually drift off to the side. They never sit absolutely perfectly straight. Although mine tend to sit straighter than some people's. But the idea of skipping a stitch is to actually pull everything slightly back round to keep it all square. Plus the other reason 
is for part four, it gives us the stitch count that we need. Okay, so if you're wondering why do we sometimes skip a stitch and then most of the time we don't, there are your reasons. Okay, so corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, skip that first or hidden stitch, double crochet in nine, front post treble around the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, one, two, three times. Okay, and now we begin our repeat that we're going to do five times and then again at the end there will be nine more double crochet to make. Okay, so we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches, okay? So that is our two half double crochets. And then half double in two. Single in four. Ooh, I've gone all hot all of a sudden. Okay. Uh, half double in two, single in four, half double in two, double crochet in the next three. Okay, so although the repeat is written non symmetrically, you will see that it actually does become symmetrical because this double crochet here, that first one, is the last one in that repeat and then there's another two, so there's actually three, two half double crochet, four single, two half double crochet, three double crochet before we start into the next part where we are going to front post treble around the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch three times. Okay. Now once you've actually finished, you've worked all the way round and you join to the top of the chain three, work away all of your ends and if you lay your work out and just gently smooth it you will see that this becomes straight although it might dip and curve a little bit it's only because of the shape around the arch that it will do that slightly. When we make the next couple of rounds in part four everything will look completely square again okay so don't be tempted to go stretching things and all the rest you really don't need to okay it will sit perfectly straight next time. Okay so you're gonna repeat that that we've done from the two double crochet, two half double, four single, two half double, three double crochet, front post treble, double, one, two, three times. I'm going to repeat that five times, which is going to bring you up to um, here. And then you've got two, four, six, eight, nine stitches left to make double crochets in before you come up to your next corner. 
Okay, so as I said, all the way round, join to the top of your chain three, fasten off, work away all of your ends so that everything's up to date and you're ready for the next part. Okay, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.